please help me in welcoming Craig Michael. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. <coughs> Fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests. Yesterday was a big day, an important, exciting day. People had celebrations all over the place. Can you tell me what that day was? Super Bowl. No, Super Bowl was yesterday too, but I'm not talking about that. I'll give you a hint. A very famous, important man had a birthday yesterday. He was popular in entertainment in the 60s. In pursuing his calling, he really developed his career through the 70s, and in the 80s, he made history and got on the world stage. Yeah. Whose birthday was it? He says Ronald Reagan. Was his birthday too, but not Ronald Reagan. <laughs> I'm talking about Bob Marley. Oh, really? In a minute, I'll tell you why I'm talking about Bob Marley, the godfather of reggae music. But first, I do want to make a point about the Super Bowl yesterday. <coughs> For some time now, leading up to the game, there have been popular songs out talking about black and yellow versus green and yellow. You know, the Packers, green and, green and yellow versus Steelers, black and yellow. But when I hear these colors, I just think about my flag. Being from Jamaica, my flag is black, green, and gold. Looks like this, if you can see it. And um, the colors stand for hardships they are, but the land is green and the sun shines. Black hardships, and green for the land and the sun. For the, the yellow, the gold for the sun shining. So the land is green and the sun shines. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the place where most of my favorite memories were made. I'm going to tell you about the five things I cherish about Jamaica. First, the sights. Jamaica is a beautiful place with lush green vegetation. The name Jamaica actually comes from the original Arawak Indian word, Jamaica, which means land of food and water. And it's true. You could be standing on a mountain top looking out at a panorama of green forests out past the blue sapphire of the sea out to the horizon. And it's very beautiful. You could be driving through a road amazed by the few sun rays coming through, bamboo that's growing overhead and ferns lining across the side of the road. It's, it's very mesmerizing. And I love the vibrant colors that surround you when you're in a craft market or the roaring power of the peaceful trickle of the waterfalls we have. But the one side that might miss most is the night sky. See, I remember being home and looking up and the sky would be polluted with stars. But here in the city lights, I'm not as lucky. Then there are the sounds. Of course, we have the sounds of nature, and you know, the cocks crowing in the morning time and so on, but I brought up Bob Marley because a lot of people know Jamaica for the music. Now, I'm a fan of all genres, but I absolutely love reggae music. There's just something about it. It can calm the soul and incite a revolution in the same song. Of course, music has evolved since um, Bob Marley pioneered reggae. Now we have dancehall reggae, the fast-paced, bass-heavy, exciting music of the youth. And it's similar to hip-hop. And that brings me to another sound of Jamaica that's loved, the language. And I don't mean official language because we are an English-speaking country, but our dialect and the accent that comes with it is loved the world over. As a matter of fact, CNN just did an article ranking the 20 coolest countries in the world. When well, placing us at number three, they described it as an accent that's envied, that's the envy of the English speaking world. But there's something cool about you know greeting your friend with a well go on. It they never lose its charm. Yet the thing that many people cherish most about Jamaica is the tastes. I went home for the Christmas holiday and my mother would not stop feeding me. <laughs> Rum cake. <laughs> Stew peas, rice and peas, ake, kalaloo, all things I suggest you try. Then there's jerk everything, jerk chicken, jerk pork, jerk fish, the spicy deliciousness. Then the fruits, you get to take a big slow bite out of a juicy Jamaican apple or, or quench your thirst with a freshly picked and chopped jelly coconut, it's beautiful. Then there's a heavenly crunch when you tear into a piece of sugar cane which is also the main ingredient of some of the best rums in the world. And with tastes, of course, come the smells. There's a powerful aroma of spices when my father is grinding the seasoning for the jerk chicken. It's 
pungent with pimento and pepper. So powerful it might make you laugh, smile, and cry at the same time while shocking you <coughs> into being aware of his presence. Then there's how good the kitchen will smell with the fragrance of fried fresh fish. <laughs> or the smells of walking through an orchard and all the fruits are getting ripe. All these smells are beautiful things. But another smell I appreciate, the smell of a salt to sea foam is something that ties in with the fifth thing I cherish about Jamaica, which is the feel of the sea breeze caressing your skin or the warm tropical sun kissing your skin or soft grass under your feet, sand between your toes. Now, not all these sights, sounds, tastes, feels, smells are unique in Jamaica. I mean, you might enjoy beaches uh, here or I've enjoyed many pretty days here, but I'm glad that Jamaica is where I made those cherished memories. And I'm glad that Bob Marley was iconic enough to get a lot of people interested in coming to Jamaica so they could make some of their favorite memories there, like the ones that I've been blessed with. Mr. Toastmaster. Everyone can please.